All right, it is time. We're gonna go through this entire palette right now. Depending on how long it takes, it might be two parts because this is definitely gonna take a while. Um, so my plan is to do one by one, bring them over to this table, have the camera set up there and I'll show you inside of each box. I'm gonna catalog it, see how many of each one I have, see what needs what, because I'll probably have to order parts from eBay or Amazon. And then I have a little bit of space I made over there, which isn't gonna hold that many, but it's a start. And uh, as you can see, <laughs> I got plenty of product. Anyone need a uh, car transport thingamajig? All right, well, let's get this party started. This is gonna be this is gonna be pretty fun, I think. We're gonna start with those brown boxes. I have no clue what's in there. Hopefully it's got some good ones. Maybe an i7 plus or something. So let's go. Hopefully we got some good stuff. Hopefully, hopefully the stuff is complete and I can make some money. So I know for a fact I'm going to make money regardless, but how much depends on how clean they are, how much, if they're working, if they're missing. If people stole the batteries, all that, all that nonsense. All right, we're gonna start with mystery box number one. And that's not a good thing. I really hope a lot of these are not like this. So that is all that's in the box. So this has been once again taken apart. Like I said, depending on how many of these are like this, if I get if half of these are like this where they're taken apart, I'm totally complaining because this is not a return, this is a salvage. This has been worked on by someone, they've taken it apart. I mean it's missing basically everything. What model is this? Uh, 675 so it doesn't even have that much value however just these by themselves so I'm glad this is in there just these go for $30 on eBay they cost I don't know about I think I can I think they're about 15 ounces so they're about five bucks to ship um, so you know I get about at least 20 each just for these alone so that's good to have that in there but it sucks big to get a robot like this this is literally parts I'm not even sure what that's gonna go for so I guess I'm gonna have to do a big box of broken damaged missing stuff I got a feeling all these brown boxes now are gonna be stuff like this I think the ones in the actual boxes are gonna be complete or you know missing very little I don't think they're gonna be like this Here we go, what do we got? Okay, I've never heard of this brand. It's probably a piece of crap, but. Paxus. With a giant remote <laughs> and the batteries. That is all that's in there other than pet hair. So, I have no clue what this even goes for. It can't be much. Yeah, I couldn't tell you if this is good or bad. I will try to find out and I will test it, of course, but not high hopes for this one. I'm actually gonna put this in the box with the other one. Pack cell. This has some big top, big wheels though. It, I mean, it could be a good one. That's actually, you know what? I want to look it up really quick because I'm curious now. Eighty-two dollars used. So, if, or three fifty new. Only three out of five stars, so not the best quality. But if I can get sell this for parts and get fifty bucks, I'd actually be super happy with that. Obviously, I'll give them the remote and the batteries. I will test it, which. That's going to be a problem because there is no dock, so I might just have to sell it as is untested. 
So that's another thing with these. If you don't get the dock and uh, the battery's dead, you're kind of screwed. Wow, that is weird, guys. Very weird, especially this box. Let me show you. So we have <laughs> a Shark IQ. Which I'm actually not disappointed with. I bet you this one for parts. Easy, even missing this two stuff, easily a hundred bucks. But I have a Shark IQ, so I'm gonna be able to transform some parts, test it. And the reason why I said very interesting, because there's two robots in here. We have, which makes me very happy, a Roomba i7 with it. That is very good. We've got a charger. And we got a bunch of manuals with which I don't even, nobody cares about the manuals. So obviously the battery is going to be completely dead. I mean, look what people clean up with this. Hopefully this is getting on camera. Like I know I do these crazy pickup tests and stuff, but I mean, what are people running over with this? Let's, let's show you what's inside. I'm gonna. I should be. I should be wearing gloves, but actually, I might go get some gloves on. Look at that. That's, hope. Let me bring that around. This is disgusting. This is the other downside of doing this. I have to clean all this disgusting crap out. When I clean this out, I'm obviously gonna use gloves and a mask. Cause there's no telling what this garbage is. Actually, I have the. I7 plus dock. Actually, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna plug it in now. I want to see if this works. I guess you can kind of see it right there. Red light means there's no bag. Let me slide this up there, and if this thing starts charging, I mean that's that's a good box. This can be worth a good amount of money. Yep, it's turning on. That, that's awesome because if that i7 works, clean it out, works perfectly, that's worth at least 300 bucks. So, got another charger. The Shark IQ, I have no idea about. I don't know why there's so many dustbins missing. I wonder if Amazon takes, because it's dirty, maybe they take them all out. Maybe not, though, because that i7 had, I don't know. There's a lot of maybes. So I'm gonna set this, let's set this aside separately because I have all these parts. So I'll be able to test this pretty easily. Right, that's good, it's communicating with the charger. This is the same exact thing the other one did. And there's a red light going right now because that's the battery's completely dead. But I left it on there for a couple hours and it recharged and it worked perfectly fine inside. I actually already uploaded that video. Okay, I'll take these all day long. I'm not, this is, this is gonna be amazing. So we have a Brava Jet M6 with the charger and base plate. If this works, I mean, 250, 300 bucks, easy. So that's all, that's what's cool I love about the mystery boxes. That could have been another whatever the pack cell or whatever piece of crap that was. But no, this is a great, good, higher end robot with the parts. So I'm gonna actually plug this in now and start charging her. There we go, it's lighting up and charging, awesome. So we have an i7 and a Brava Jet. What's cool with just those two, I can have both of those in my house and they communicate with each other. And after the i7's done, the M7, M6 is gonna go out and clean afterwards, so. Very cool, very, very happy with the robots I've already got them. This is gonna be an excellent pallet. A couple more brown boxes, unfortunately. I really enjoyed opening these mystery ones. And there we go. The M6 is now telling me the battery's dead and it's charging. Okay, 
Okay, here's another dud. This is another 675. Missing pretty much everything. Which I don't understand. And unfortunately for me, this one's missing the charger, so. Let's look up what a 675 goes for parts. Because you might be surprised. Even though it's missing a few of the things. It's not going to be worth much. Maybe 40 to $50 max. But once again, I'm going to have so many of these. I'm going to be able to part some of these together and fully test them. This is just missing, I believe, just the actual top cover, which is just cosmetic. So, who knows? That one's in the air. Okay, looks like for now we're done with the brown boxes. There's more at the bottom. And now we're going to get into mainly all the Roombas. Another, I don't miss on the dock, what do you know? Another 675. Man, if all these boxes are missing this, I'm gonna be very upset. I don't think it's gonna be the case for the white boxes. But another 675, missing both. Once again, that's up in the air, I don't know. All right, these are gonna determine what this pallet's gonna be. If these are all missing the dust bins, I'm gonna be worried and upset because that means someone is parting out the dust bins or something. One is taped, so that might mean something. Ugh. Okay. This is worrisome, guys. So once again, with liquidation.com, this entire pallet is classified as returns. You're telling me this was returned this way? No, no way. Somebody at liquidation or Amazon or wherever this passes through is going through these robots and taking parts off for whatever reason. So, God, if these are all like this, I'm effed. I, I'm gonna have to file a claim on this one too. Uh, I'm gonna start taking some pictures. Because once again, to me, there's no way this is a returned item. This is a salvage, non-working unit as is like this. I have a feeling I'm gonna be taking a lot of pictures. does not make me very happy because I've had these before and they were all fine. Once again, missing the charger. I mean, what am I supposed to do with this? So, I'm gonna put an X on the boxes that are missing shit. Yeah, this is, I'm gonna be upset once again if, if that's how all these are gonna be. Not cool, liquidation, not cool. There are so many of these 675s. trying to pull over there but this pilot just went from looking really good to really bad um, please guys put down in the, in the comments what you guys think is this returns or should this be classified as salvage <sighs> this is not gonna be good gonna be good I'm gonna have a hundred pictures for them and with a company like this, I'm pretty sure they're gonna, they, they're pro what I think they're gonna do, because I've been complaining about these pallets because they're, they're not listing them right. 
if these were returns, they would have everything with them. Or they would just be missing a couple things. These have been taken apart. Let's switch to a Samsung. I'm tired of seeing those Roombas disappointing like that. I don't know what they can do to make the Samsung less valuable. But let's find out. You know, they probably did. This has a whole, I mean, this is nasty. A whole bunch of hair. And, oh, there's so much dirt and dust in this thing. People just don't care. Very used. Very, very dirty. Completely clogged. I don't know if you can see inside there. But it is completely clogged. I bet you this dustbin is. It's dirty, but it's not full. Ooh, this video just got depressing a little bit. It went from really good to now I'm kind of mad. You look at that, look how disgusting hair and. I knew it was going to be gross, and I knew I'm going to have to clean, but, I mean, even this is missing the charger. Like, come on. They are obviously 100% taking the charger out of every single one of these, and they're selling them themselves, and then leaving me with the leftovers. Not cool. God. One million percent, somebody is taking the parts off. There's nothing in there and selling them from liquidation, therefore ripping off all these people that are buying these. I'm not going to be able to order 50, 50 freaking docks, 50 dust bins, 50 sets of rollers, and still make a profit. This is ridiculous. I was not expecting this. I'm gonna try my hardest to, I'm gonna get through these pallets before that third, I have a third pallet of this coming. If these are all like this, I'm gonna decline delivery of the third one. I did not pay for half-assed robots. All right, this is going to be a two or three part series for this pallet. Otherwise the videos would be over 30 minutes each. Started out really good. This part of the video ended badly. Uh, it does get better. And then of course there's more white boxed Roombas like that, that I'm gonna have to deal with. But uh, please like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And I'm going to upload the other half of this video shortly. It should be up by tonight. So hopefully you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, please ask them down in the comments. And have an awesome day. See you guys.